Hi, this is Tudor with a quick overview of uh, Learn Scrivener from uh, David Martin. Before I get into the course, um, you'll notice that there's quite a wide range of uh, feedback on Scrivener if you ask uh, different people or if you look up reviews you'll find that the majority of the people um, rave about it they're um, ecstatic about the features about how it keeps them productive uh, distraction free and how they cannot even conceive of uh, uh, using any other tool once they, they love learned uh, Scrivener at the other end of the spectrum you'll find people who just don't get it uh, people who didn't uh, find it valuable, people who complained that uh, it doesn't uh, work out for them and uh, they didn't really get any benefit out of uh, using it. I think the one factor that um, <clears throat> makes the difference between, between the two uh, types of opinions is a good uh, learning uh, tool for Scrivener. And this is where David's um, Learn Scrivener course really stands out. After going through the course, I can pretty much tell you, I don't think there's anything else out there, any other resource that goes into that much uh, detail. It has, if I count it correctly, 68 video modules, 68 video um, units, sorry, um, that cover everything that you need to know about uh, Scrivener. So uh, let's get right into it. Um, you'll start with the basics where you'll learn how to acquire Scrivener in case you don't have it and how to get familiar uh, with uh, the various uh, features um, and tools that it comes with. And uh, in module two, you're gonna get into um, adding uh, files and uh, folders. If you have work that's already created and you wanna transfer it to Scrivener and uh, get more familiar with uh, the interface, this is pretty much where you'll spend uh, quite a bit of uh, time. Um, the module is laid out uh, really in a, in a way that's really easy to uh, follow. Um, Personally, I think you're gonna like the importing and uh, splitting features. I actually liked the automatic uh, splitting feature. It's, it's so simple and powerful, you're gonna love it. Distraction-free writing, huge problem for a lot of writers. Well, Scrivener is built with uh, that in mind. Uh, David will teach you how to keep uh, distractions uh, from affecting uh, your work. And in addition, um, there's this uh, typewriter scrolling uh, features that he teaches you how to use. I really like that and I haven't seen that anywhere else. So that's pretty cool. Um, printing, pretty straightforward. No need to get into that. Uh, he deals with it in three uh, quick uh, videos. Um, working with files and folders, four quick modules uh, that'll show you how to rearrange uh, and organize your files and folders and how to convert a file uh, to a folder and uh, add other uh, chapters to that folder if it makes uh, sense to do that from a content um, and uh, structure point of view different ways to view your projects. If there's a kind of um, uh, type of view that you're more familiar with that uh, you really uh, prefer, probably you're gonna stick with that. So you've got quite a few to, to pick from. So if I were you, I would just go through all the modules and uh, start working with several um, views to see which one uh, best fits your workflow. Um, the corkboard, this um, is pretty much the, the way I see it, it's the signature of uh, Scrivener. It's the first thing you see when you first come uh, in contact with Scrivener. Uh, well, David does a really good job at teaching you how uh, that works. Compiling for digital, uh, actually it's for different digital platforms, Kindle, Nook, um, EPUB, and so forth. 
obviously um, if if you do more than Kindle you're gonna want to go through um, units uh, through unit uh, five compiling uh, your book for print um, obviously if you're using create space you're gonna want to go through this uh, module to make sure your your print version looks uh, good and formatting this is a big problem for many of the um, writers that I talk to some of them prefer to outsource this, outsource it altogether because uh, they just find, find that it's a huge waste of uh, their time well not with Scrivener and not after um, going through what David has to show you about formatting even though it's eight modules, uh, they're pretty quick and uh, straightforward. And I think that once you've gone through them, you're not going to feel that formatting is a uh, challenge anymore, if you ever felt that. For me personally, it was never a problem. Nonetheless, I think I learned quite a few things after going through uh, these modules. Research. I think this is another area where uh, Scrivener stands out. Um, it makes it very easy to do your research without having to jump from uh, program to program and uh, without giving you an opportunity to get distracted. If you notice, that's a huge problem for me personally. Um, and I suspect I'm not the only one who suffers from that. So you're going to appreciate the way um, Scrivener works from that point of view and especially how uh, David shows you how do you um, do your uh, research really uh, quickly using uh, the features that um, Scrivener comes with. Writers helps. Um, the dictionary uh, again is uh, built with the same um, easiness uh, in mind and with um, with a focus on uh, getting uh, your your research uh, done without wasting your time without having to go through other uh, programs and applications so uh, I think you're gonna like that um, that module and everything you're gonna draw out of this this whole uh, this these nine videos um, here, if, if you're a fan of uh, customizing your programs, uh, Scrivener is really good at that. Uh, David's going to show you how to customize your toolbars um, and, um, and your icons if you're really into that. Uh, personally, I like to leave uh, programs as uh, they are, um, but if you want to make it prettier or more user-friendly or whatever, uh, you're gonna draw some value out of this backing up projects really cool feature um, you don't want to go through the headache of rewriting your work if your hard drive uh, crashes or if your computer goes uh, crazy which uh, has happened to me uh, a few months back um, with uh, with one of my computers um, so it's it's a really good idea actually to back up pretty much everything that you're um, working on he uses uh, Dropbox um, it's really straightforward so I think uh, it's something that I really recommend and uh, you're gonna learn a lot of, uh, from from this um, and not only when it comes to Scrivener but in general uh, with everything that you work on text-to-speech is another feature that uh, Scrivener comes with uh, so if you want to hear what your work sounds like when read out loud by someone, uh, you're going to like this uh, feature. Like I said, uh, there's so much value in this uh, course. I don't think there's anything else out there that covers Scrivener uh, in this much uh, detail. So I just cannot recommend it enough. Uh, plus, you get to listen to David's uh, really cool British accent which I really like um, so uh, yeah this is uh, 
the one, uh, the first and last tool uh, that you need to become a Scrivener uh, Pro. So thanks for watching this and I hope you have a productive day.